The immune system is our body's defense system and it protects us from invading organisms such as bacteria or viruses. So there are cellular components such as T cells that directly attack bacteria or viruses and there are other cells that are producing proteins that are then floating in the blood and tag these organisms for destruction. Because cancer grows out of our own tissue, um, it often is invisible to the immune system. And it even does some extra tricks to become invisible um, and not to be attacked by the immune system. So it's been long thought that it would be a very good therapy to use the immune system to detect the cancer, like we do in vaccines, for example, uh, and make the cancer visible so that the immune system attacks the cancer. There are already immunotherapies that are used in myeloma, uh, and the drugs thalidomide, revlimid, and pomalidomide, which are all closely related, are called so-called immunomodulatory drugs. They change the immune system, they change the components of the immune system, and make them recognize the myeloma cells. They also change the myeloma cells in their behavior, um, and the combination of the two is already leading to long-term remissions in a subgroup of patients. There is also two antibody therapies. One is called elituzumab against a protein called SLAMF7, and another one is daratumumab against a protein called CD38 on the surface of myeloma cells. Both of these antibodies have been approved by the regulatory authorities in America and in Europe, but they are currently not available uh, in the UK via NICE. We also use allogeneic transplant as a form of immunotherapy in myeloma and other hematologic malignancies. In allogeneic transplant, the immune system of another person is being transferred into the patient with the cancer. Um, that means that the immune system from that other person starts attacking the cancer cells, which again can lead to long-term remissions. Unfortunately, allogeneic transplant can also be associated with significant toxicity. So it is a therapy that has to be very carefully selected for a very um, specific and fit patient population. The limitations of the use of immunotherapy um, can be in the form of side effects that they cause. Because the cancer emerges from our own tissue, uh, immunotherapies that attack that tissue can, under some circumstances, also attack other tissues. And that's called autoimmunity. So some immunotherapies do trigger autoimmunity, which can lead to very different forms of side effects. We are understanding better how myeloma cells interact with immune cells now. Um, and we are learning a lot from other diseases as well, other cancers, how cancer cells interact with immune cells. And together with new technologies that are becoming available that gives us more tools at hand to develop new therapies.